guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. So welcome to this week's um, Yang reading for May the 6th until the 13th. Um, so I would actually did a crystal ball reading uh, for the Yang and then I realized um, it was a 25 um, card spread. So that would be an ideal um, you know, spread for an extended reading. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll leave that as an extended reading so if you wanted to um, purchase that reading you could click the link below um, so I'm going to be doing a elemental reading I'm using the call it Baron Reed good tarot I think I might use different decks so let's um, this will be the emotional space okay and for the physical, we'll use John Holland, Psychic Tarot, Mental. Okay, and so for the physical, actually this is John Holland, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. This, this deck is John Holland, Psychic Tarot. So this will be for the physical. And what else? Um, Fairy by Lenormand. This will be the spiritual. And we will use the Osho Zen for the soul. Okay, so let's begin. If I need to use clarifiers, I'll use my smaller deck here. All right, so beginning with the emotional space. Six of water. So Six of Cups is the reunion card. And I actually saw this very strongly in the um, Yang extended reading I just did. So this is a desire to reconnect. This is um, feeling... Um, you know, like there's a void or a loss in your life. Um, you're, you're thinking a lot about somebody and you want to reconnect with them on an emotional level. So this is reunion. This is how you're feeling emotionally. You want to reunite, reconnect. Okay, so mentally, refuse to see. Interesting that we have a water card for emotional and we have... Um, you know, mental card for the, or, you know, sword card for the mental. So refusing to see mentally, you, you're wearing this, you know, lead helmet, basically. Your third eye chakra um, isn't fully open. So this is um, a crossroads, having two choices. So you're, you're stuck. And I also saw that in the crystal ball reading. Very, very prominent in the crystal ball reading that you felt stuck. You're overwhelmed. So mentally you're refusing to see something or you're refusing to make a decision. In the physical, sacral chakra. So this is where your emotions are stored. This speaks about your relationships, your connections with people in the world. Um, so in the physical world, you feel a blockage emotional, emotionally, right? So and you can see that. We can see this desire to reconnect on an emotional level and you're, you're not feeling that in the physical reality. Um, and so that was also a prominent theme in the Twin Flame and Crystal Ball. The Four of Pentacles keeps showing up and that's somebody who's closed off in the 3D reality. And we see that being closed off there. You're not making a decision. 
about something, you're not seeing something, even though there's a desire to re reunite. Um, you need to clear that blockage in the 3D, reach out. Uh, so the final message from the universe in the extended Twin Flame reading was coming together. So, you know, it, was, it spoke about um, reconnecting with people, um, feeling, you know, that magical connection with somebody unlike anything you've ever experienced before and basically going for it. So, um, yeah. Okay, so spiritually we have... Uh, this is innocence and purity. So we see, uh, you know, this little fairy sitting here on the rock. She's, um, she is unencumbered by the physical, mental, emotional world. She's just this pure spirit. So this is how you feel spiritually. Innocent, pure, um, a new start, um, is happening that you feel like you're just starting your life so the yang card was showing up in the present so this what i'm feeling here is um authenticity you you know even though you feel that disconnect and a lot of things are happening um at the core of who you are you feel this pure spirit that you no matter what um you know, this spirituality or this twin flame journey, you know, is is leading you to yourself to discover yourself. And that's really the most important thing right now. So even though you're disconnected emotionally and mentally, spiritually, you're wide open. Okay, so the soul is stressed, seven of wands. Um, very interesting that the uh, two of wands, or sorry, the two of pentacles was the main message from the universe in the extended uh, yang, and also it fell out of the deck in the twin flame reading. So what I was picking up with this is feeling like you're juggling a thousand balls, feeling um, unsettled, feeling like there's a lot of things happening, right? Um, so I would definitely watch the extended version because the synchronicities are quite strong here. So let me read that card to you. So your soul is, feels unrested. Too many burdens. You feel stressed. Okay. How many people do you know who just when they were completely overloaded with too many projects, too many balls in the air, have suddenly come down with the flu or taken a fall and ended up on crutches. That's just the sort of bad timing the little monkey with the pin in his hand is about to impose on the one-man band pictured here. The quality of stress represented by this card visits all of us at, at times, but perfectionists are particularly vulnerable to it. We create it ourselves with the idea that we, without us, nothing will happen, especially in the way that we want it to. Well, what makes you so special? Do you think the sun won't rise in the morning unless you personally set the alarm? Um, go for a walk, buy some flowers, and fix yourself a spaghetti dinner. Anything unimportant will do. Just put yourself out of that monkey's reach. There you go. So... Um, your soul is crying out um, for rest and to retreat, to find stillness. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, the near future for the crystal ball reading, it was intense. Um, we had the nine of swords, the nine of wands, the eight of cups, right? This is all very intense scattered energy. Um, and so your soul is really crying out right now. So take that advice, you know, um, find pleasure in the simple things in life. All right. So let's pull one final card as message from the universe. So what final messages do you have for the masculine? Special thanks to the patrons. 
um, without it these videos would not be possible so I love you guys so much okay so final message cleaning house oh my god wow and I'm saying wow because this was a final message kind of energy from the twin flame reading as well as this card as well basically all the cards it's uh, you know repeated theme very strongly okay 37 and it all has to do with that ego the devil cleaning house it's time to clear the clutter and make room for better things when you see the cleaning house card in a reading it's time to declutter your life get rid of unwanted things in your physical home and release what you no longer want or truly need is there any unfinished business you should address thoughts memories and emotional baggage must be swept out of your house as well your conscience must be clear to move freely in the world celebrate a spring cleaning and feel the freedom as you make way as you make way for much better things look at what you've resisted discarding and be honest about its value be honest and clean house boom there you go be honest about what you what you need to let go of okay um you know don't be the hero don't take on a lot of responsibilities and just so that you can complain about it <laughs> later do you know what i mean um be real what's important and what isn't all right so please like share subscribe and comment please guys this um this helps me to know if i'm on the right path in terms of the readings so sending massive love your way all right cheers